Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about a, I think, a universal principle for life, which is self-management. Now, Peter Drucker, the management guru, uh, I came across a quote by him uh, recently where he said, you know, for the first time really in the history of the world, we're moving into this time where people have, you know, almost unlimited choices, and it's going to require that we all learn to self-manage ourselves. And he said, I, I think, this is Peter Drucker's opinion, that the world is not prepared for that responsibility of learning to self-manage ourselves. So what does it mean to self-manage ourselves? What are some areas of life that we have to learn to self-manage? Number one, first and foremost, I think it, it starts with, you know, taking accountability for being in control of our own results and choices in our lives and being accountable for that rather than blaming others or playing the victim role in things, but we're taking accountability to self-manage our own progress. Now, what are some areas that we need to be self-managing. Here's some, some things to start with. We work from the inside out where you're managing your own spiritual life and your mindset and your emotions to be willing to say, you know what? I can choose to think differently. I can choose to respond emotionally. I can take charge of my mindset and emotions and I can make course corrections. I can self-manage and to learn to make adjustments. I think one of the biggest key themes in all of self-management is the ability to self correct, the ability to self-navigate when you find that you're off track, that you get back on track and you self-navigate back onto the path. It's the ability to take initiative. It's to be internally motivated. You know, think externally managed. You're, you know, someone's trying to reward you and push you along and, and prod you along into, uh, you know, higher and higher levels of productivity and performance. Self-management is you have to be internally motivated, which means that you, um, you, know, you are productive with your time, you're producing results, and you try to find more and more ways to become more efficient and more productive with your time, and that you take initiative to do that. So you're internally motivated is one of the other keys to being a better self-manager. One of the other keys uh, in all this is this, the concept of change. You know, change is coming in life. You can guarantee that change is going to happen in life, and if we're gonna self-manage, we have to make this mindset shift from letting change happen to me to I become the one who's initiating change. What does that mean? If I'm going to initiate change and be the one that causes positive change to happen in life, which means that I have to make a plan. So one of the greatest expressions of self-management is the ability to create plans, to look ahead to where I want to go, to make plans. You think about management. We talk about performance planning and reviews and goal setting and all these types of things. It's to set a goal. It's to set a plan in place of something you want to work towards, to be internally motivated, to be working towards it, and to begin taking action working towards it without anyone else prompting you to necessarily have to do so. And it's the ability to course correct when you get off track towards moving towards that plan. These are some of the greatest ideas when it comes to self-management. It's the ability to control our own thoughts and emotions and be accountable for our own results when it comes to health, money, business, you know, all the different areas of life. We're accountable to ourselves for our own results. We're internally motiva motivated. We initiate change. We're productive and efficient with our time. And we have the ability to look ahead, to create plans and to create action steps and to walk out those plans and to learn how to self-correct and to self-navigate when I get off track with those plans. Now, if you are wanting to get uh, uh, learn more about this idea of self-management. I have a program called 40 Day Refresh. We talk about getting clear, getting things in order in your life, and getting things clear to become a better self-manager to get plans in place for moving forward. And we have a develop a one-year plan for moving you forward. We try to get you crystal clear on exactly where you're trying to go, the changes that you want to create in your life, and then develop a plan for moving forward. We've got a process that walks you through how to do all that, to become a better self-manager, to be in control of your thoughts and your emotions uh, and accountable for your own health and finances, these types of things, and to develop plans for moving forward with your life to be initiating change in your life. But you can check that out. You can go to danielfoley.net slash 40 day refresh to get access to that program there.